we are not on a good trajectory. So I think across the board or across Canada, we have to say that the time is now with urgency that we limit contacts. Public Health Canada says we could be seeing over 60,000 new cases of COVID-19 daily by the end of the year. That's the worst case scenario in new projections released by the agency. But even if things don't get better or worse, we're still on path to see over 20,000 new cases daily by the end of December. The last thing our beleaguered health system needs. Even right now, um, the health care system in certain jurisdictions um, certain cities are already feeling the pressure. So if that's happening now, you can imagine that these exhausted healthcare workers, um, you know, are not going to be able to cope. The new figures show Canada is averaging 4,700 cases daily, more than doubling our first wave peak. If nothing changes, public health projects over 20,000 new cases daily by the end of December. Year-end projections show a range of outcomes. In the best case, we can turn the curve downwards. But if Canadians increase the number of people we contact, that 60,000 daily case figure will become reality. Against this rising tide, the health minister is asking Canadians to start asking themselves tough questions. Think about the choices that you're making carefully, because lives actually depend on it. Is my travel essential? Do I need to go out today? Can I reduce my shopping time? Do I need to have that dinner? We need to make careful choices appropriate for every situation, every jurisdiction about how to limit things. And that means that, you know, your friend uh, who you talk to who lives in a different city may have very different choices that they can engage in that you can't. And that seems unfair and it seems frustrating and it is. It's unfair and it's frustrating. Yep. There's no question about it, but we're not in a fair situation. And all we can do is try and be there for each other as best we can. The projections also show a return of long-term care outbreaks, some bigger than in the first wave. Schools are also showing outbreaks, but even epidemiologists who think schools accelerate epidemics think they should stay open. But that's only if we can keep community spread low, something not happening now. One of the things I think we want to achieve is to keep schools open as best we can until we cannot. That means other things must close around the schools. And the way you keep schools safe is you limit the transmission in the community. If it's not in the community, it can't get into the schools. Once it's in the schools, how do you stop it from spreading within the schools? Now, Dion Anden says while schools can stay open, politicians should strongly consider extending the winter holiday for students. Ontario has already ruled that out, but an extension of even just two weeks would give us some breathing room and a chance to stop the spread in schools. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.